constructed something I'm going to call Tips for Success. And I'm not going to tell you what to do, I'm just going to give you some ideas. But in some cases, I will tell you what we do at Washington University. So it's a single sheet, Tips for Success. You've heard the coaches so far talk about the importance of platform skills. Digging on defense, passing, and serve, receive. And I think many young coaches, many high school coaches spend too much time working on swinging, swinging, swinging. If you can't pass, then you're not going to be able to play the game. So at least 50% of your practice time, in my estimation, has to include some type of ball control platform skill. And I think we've really gotten away from that because you can be a successful team if you can platform. If you can dig on defense and pass and serve receive, you will enjoy success. Number two, teach and drill proper footwork patterns. Uh, I refer back to what Christy was talking about the other day. She said, you know, because of the presentation, she didn't have the time to talk about all the potential footwork patterns of the setter. And sometimes you don't teach footwork patterns at all. Maybe we'll just teach a footwork pattern that when you get to the net, it's right foot forward, weight forward. But you have to have footwork patterns, and we're just going to use the setter as an example, for everything that could possibly happen. Because many of our digs and many of our passes are what we call out of system that take us off the net. So I'm not going to demonstrate these. I'm just going to make the point. If this is what we refer to as zero, this is perfect pass area, then we have to be able to teach good footwork to take the ball here, good footwork to take the ball here, take the ball up there, and take the ball over here. And we just, don't let, you just can't let kids run there. They have to use consistently good footwork. Now this also goes with attacking, whether you're swinging or transitioning. It goes with blocking. So every skill needs to drill footwork. Um, one of the great club teams, and I haven't seen them practice, but one of the great club teams out of Indiana is Munciana. And I don't know if they still do this, but I heard there were times they would go a week in practice without a ball. And all it would be would be footwork, 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 footwork. That's all they did. And their kids were so strong technically in terms of footwork, then they added the ball. You know, we have times in practice we don't use balls. Because if I had to pick one thing in the game of volleyball that messes it up, it's the ball. Because what happens is, if we could play without a ball, it'd be a perfect sport. But a lot of times, kids will just royally screw up their technique because you add a ball. So technique has to be taught first, and in this situation, I'm only talking about footwork patterns. During practice, use as many ball contacts as possible. I can remember 25 years ago, how I saw it so often, you'd have the circle do, and they call it the circle bump drill, where they just stand there and bump it back and forth to each other. And it didn't have any relevance, I didn't think, because you weren't passing the ball towards the target, and it was one, one person digging or passing or bumping, whatever you want to call it, and nine people in a circle. A lot of ball contacts. Look at the drills you had out here, how they're introducing balls, ball after ball after ball. It's not like introduce a ball and wait, 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 wait. You know, if you're going to go ahead and you're going to run a drill, Okay, and maybe we're going to go ahead and run a drill here. What I'm going to do is I'm swinging and I'm hitting balls at the left back and the right back. Maybe I hit a ball here, then I hit a ball there, I hit a ball there. Instead of hitting a ball here and waiting for the next person and hitting a ball there, and maybe the drill, maybe the drill is going to be this. I'm just going to pick a drill up. And all I'm doing is repping. I'm working on footwork and rep digging. We have the left back. We have two people in line. In the right back, we have two people in line. So all I'm going to do, I swing at you. You don't only just dig the ball, you gotta go to cover and then go back to base. I dig to here, and after I hit to every person, they're gonna go ahead and go to it. So I'm gonna make it a drill that's a rapid pace drill, and that's going to simulate game activities and a lot of contacts, a lot of contacts. And if you're gonna run a drill that does have a lot of contacts, then you have to have a really good shagging system. 